applied the arm bar and then Big E Langston runs in to make the save sending Del Rio out uh... Hey ya! Happy hour, console gamer back here again We're up in their top 10 video and yeah there are two videos that I posted here recently you know a few people liked them and that was cool got a few dislikes and eh, it's all part of territory so you get spit on a little bit well, whatever, it's life, but hey, I only got like a few dislikes, so I was surprised, and hopefully this video will get a lot more dislikes, because I'm gonna piss off more people, because the top 10 list today is, yeah, the most top 10 overrated NES games ever, in my fucking opinion, if you care. Alright, so let's get on to it, yeah? Eh, whatever, okay. Yeah, but it is, I have a nice big drink because, hey, uh, who doesn't like an uh, alcoholic, this is cigarette smoking asshole like Salt Snake? Yeah. yeah, this cool guy, he likes to sneak around and shit and uh, knock out people that feel asleep or fell asleep. Yeah, the thing about the original Metal Gear on the original 8 bit Nintendo. It's kind of fucking stupid. Here you see a robot on there, but when you fight him at the end, oh, it's some, some big fucking computer. And yeah, if you watch an Angry Nerds video, you don't understand all the bullshit parts with the very fucking bad translation. The sneaking around doesn't work half the time, and, <laughs> and they just hired a whole bunch of people that don't know fucking English. They just <clears throat> I don't know fucking English a lot too, but I can fucking do a better job than these guys. Alright, so that was a nice softball for you, but number 9 here, yeah, doesn't this one piss you off? It's Xevious, <laughs> yeah, it's an arcade classic from the 1980s, ported over here on original Nintendo. They figured I would like this a lot because, hey, I like old school shit, you know, I, I like Space Invaders and all that, but I don't know, why can't we get something fun, like, a Xevious, it doesn't age too well, let's just say that, like, if you think of a lot of Virgil, the Virgil shooters here on the Nintendo, like, you know, you got ones like Life Force, Legendary Wings, and Gumnack, well, those are some fucking awesome games here on original Nintendo, and uh, Forza Xevious, very fucking boring. In fact, there's a much better not called Virgil shooter called Dragon Spear here on original Nintendo that's light years above this, like, literally light years, because this came out in 81, the graphics actually don't look as good as the 1981 version in the arcade and holy shit, it's near arcade perfect but who gives a crap, hey I get to shoot and bomb and that's it, you only get one freaking boss in the game and it just keeps on looping and you're hearing that same super music fucking annoying Oh yeah, this one too, Tetris, yeah. Okay, so what's wrong about fucking Tetris? Well, the thing is, yeah, everybody loves this game. People spend like billions and billions of dollars to get this on the original fucking Nintendo. Yeah, the thing was, there was already a Tetris game on original Nintendo. It was two players, it had some very cool russian style music to it. Uh, it had yeah, the pretty much the one you play in the fucking arcades was the one you play on the original Nintendo. It's called Tenjin Tenders, Tenders Tetris, uh, Tetris Tetris. It was fucking awesome. And then Nintendo made one. They fucking half-ass it. No two-player fucking mode to it. Music kind of sucks in it, except for you know track C. Uh, futurism. Yeah, futurism music. Not kind of bad, but damn, it, it just got mode. A, mode B, and that's it, <laughs> you know, get the high score, and see some, you know, aircraft school space and shit, who fucking cares, very bare bones, and Nintendo, you know, Nintendo should have done a much better job, Oh well, no, yeah, bare minimum required to make a Tetris game, millions of people buy it anyway, so what the fuck do I know, then this here, it's okay, it just could be better, that's all, number eight, Rampage. Now, this game sounds like really fucking fun at first, you know, you're giant monsters, you're 50 feet tall, and you're destroying buildings and shit. Uh, 
Oh man. I don't know if you take it for non-serious fun. Yeah, it's good arcade action, and the arcade action was really fucking cool back then. But okay, so we got two of the monsters of the three. No, you know, giant wolf monster in this, but that's okay. It really starts out cool at first. They he's did a decent enough job, but then you keep on playing it to the next level, and the next level, and then the next fucking level. There's like. 50 or so fucking levels in this and you get on the continue so yeah there's really no point to the game whatsoever yeah, it gets really fucking boring after a while if they add some like more challenging like limited continues and I don't know more goals to achieve then maybe the game could have been fun but Rampage on the original Nintendo it's highly sought after a lot of people are willing to pay good money for it too bad it fucking plays like shit. Average game. Uh, so disappointed. Uh, speaking of which, I have bad odds. Uh, bad odds, or. Yeah, this fucking game. Not only is the uh, cover art kind of fucking stupid, I covered that in another video somewhere. It's on my Arizona channel, but. Yeah, not only do you get stupid cover artwork, but a lot of people think this is a good game because Natsumi. You know, those talented assholes make a lot of good games like Skat. They made the Ninja Warriors on Super Nintendo. That's a fucking good game. And Walking Rocky, very cool game. But I bought out here, it's pretty much just a Life Force clone where Life Force was two players. You know, the graphics were awesome in it. The music was epic. I bought out. No, not even fucking close. Uh, you got uh, robots that look all disjointed and even. You got very unbalanced fucking difficulty. One hit will fucking kill you. Yeah, all your weapons. You know, you get a lot of weapons that fire straight, but a lot of the enemies like to talk, fire at different angles. It's hard as shit. It's not fair. It's not fun. And, yeah, don't fucking play it. Uh, where are the fucking mad now? I think number five or so. Yeah, Rad Racer. One of the main streets for the original Nintendo. Yeah, this was actually one of the games you can get on the World Championship card that was worth over uh, 50 million gajillion thousands of dollars out there. And I don't know fucking why, because this game is fucking overrated piece of shit. Okay, it's kind of like Outrun, you know, you get to the goal as fast as you can, and you can select your music. Some of it's not too bad. And yeah, you even had some 3D effects in here. You get fucking goggles on and it looks like shit. Yeah, it doesn't fucking work. And to use your turbo, you have to constantly press up on the controller. I remember getting fun cramps all the fucking time. Uh, that was really fucking annoying. And, and sometimes you change the music by fucking accident uh, because you always have to press up. And then when you get done pressing up, it changes the music for some goddamn reason. And uh, it really throws you off, and then the other cars on the road, sometimes they purposely try to hit you, and, uh, you know, it would be, you know, understandable if this was like a race and you're trying to qualify and shit, but no, you're just trying to make it to the fucking end, so they're just being fucking dickheads. And it's just eight levels, you get a basic ending, you see two people get out the car at the end. Oh, it just doesn't have the charm. There's some uh, like an uh, L run where you actually get to choose your pass, you know. The fucking Ferrari that you're driving with the girl, it looks freaking cool. And this one, it just doesn't have that same magic that L run had. And I can see why there was no Rad Racer 3. And they discontinued the series after Rad Racer 2 bombed. Okay, and here's something that's gonna piss off more people Mega Man 5. Don't have the fucking bots for it, don't freaking care. Yeah. Now, you know, Mega Man's 1, 2, and 3 were awesome games. Totally epic on the original Nintendo. I loved them. They were, you know, perfect combination of great gameplay, had some graphics, and music for their era, you know? And then Mega Man 4 came out. Okay, it was starting to lose a little bit of its luster. You just got charge shot. Who cares? The same old shit. They should move on to 16 bit systems. But nope, we got Mega Man 5 here. <laughs> and now Proto Man's the main 
asshole you try to fight. Instead of making him as like a playable character because he's like, big man's fucking brother. Nope, he's your bad guy. So you gotta go hunt him and eight random robot masters and same old shit over and over and over again. We guy and one more. Yeah, they're bums like me, but they seem to like that game. I don't get it. I still don't understand why there's so much love. Yeah, even that Ginga Gooba guy, he likes this game. Why? It, it's easily the worst Mega Man of the original sets on, yeah, the original Nintendo because, yeah, yeah I can use a torch key. Ooh, look at me, I'm sliding and shit. Oh. I'm gonna hit you with some drywall blades that I fucking go over a place and I have to aim. Or maybe I can throw some rocks. Yeah. <laughs> Twirly rocks. Yay. <laughs> That's fucking stupid. The weapons suck. Maybe a five. A fucking lame disappointment. Okay. And now we're up to the top three here, and here is where I'm really gonna piss some people off. <laughs> I don't think I pissed off too many people with making bad, but. Ice Climbers. Now, yeah, this game was kind of interesting because I remember these characters got on Super Smash Bros. Melee and, and maybe some people liked that the little characters from this old Nintendo game got on there because, I don't know, it's two new characters to use at once and that's interesting, eh? <laughs> Too bad the game fucking sucks. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Maybe people have like rose colored glasses on here, like my double vision glasses, and they see this game as like a underrated classic that has old school charm to it, with its more primitive but simple graphics from a different bygone era. But then they don't see the fucking bad controls and uh, shitty ass gameplay. Believe me, you got pretty close levels in here, you're trying to get to the top, you grab a bird at the end, root to fucking repeat, get the high score, and, uh, you, you know, the thing is, you just, you know, chipping away at ice, and you got this very awkward, stupid jump, and you just drop like a rock most of the fucking time. It's not like, you know, Super Mario Brothers that has like great fucking jumping control, no, <laughs> You know, these little fucking Eskimo dudes can't jump for shit, but you're jumping in most of the game, so jumping is very important, but the jump sucks. Avoid it. Now, another Nintendo classic that also got its own character in Super Smash Bros. Melee Bro, whatchamacallit, U, F, U edition. Okay. Yeah, Duck Hunt. You now can play as the Ducky and the Duck. In Smash Bros. Yay! <laughs> Fucking Duck Hunt. Okay. Now the thing with Duck Hunt, it's probably the most <coughs> successful video game, or at least part of the most successful games of all time. You get this with Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. <laughs> Whoa! Holy crap! Those so like millions, you can get that game practically for free now because they sold like hundreds of billions of millions of copies of this because everybody wanted to shoot some ducks and uh, <laughs> you're a fucking duck boom I'm gonna flush your fucking head off <laughs> and everybody loved it the whole family could play it <laughs> uh, but is the game any good? No! <laughs> it's a fucking piece of <laughs> it's not you know super bad or anything like <laughs> you're shooting at ducks and Yo, those suckers need to die. I, I hate ducks. <laughs> yeah, if they're a duck, they're out of luck because they're gonna get fucked. <laughs> but is the game any good? No. You basically got one screen, a whole bunch of ducks come up. <laughs> you can play it now. Whack, 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 hey, pew, pew. <laughs> That's pretty much its whole game, man. A clay pitch is gonna come up. Pew, pew. That's a whole fucking game, and you get a fucking score, and, and rinse and repeat over 90 fucking levels of the same fucking thing. I know the Nintendo, it didn't have a lot of fucking memory back then, but <laughs> give me fucking some. Like, this game gives you fucking nothing. Like, there's really not too much you can do. And they pretty much gave it like a freebie and Super Mario Bros. A game that actually has some depth to it and said, here you want to fucking like a game? Here you go. Now fuck off. 
Okay. I'm pretty much pissed off everybody in the world, but it's time to piss off a few more people with my number one choice. What's the most overrated game of all time in my fucking opinion? <laughs> uh, only the fucking crown jewel in my freaking you know, collection here. Yeah. Uh, you know, true fucking story. I had Matt Theany, Pat Theanius Punk, or whatever the hell his name is. He said, you know, I'll give you $500 for that same event, you know? Yeah. And to a bum like me, that's a whole fucking lot of money, but. Yeah. And yeah, another person, uh, Toy Rat, he said, hey dude, I'll give you like $3,000 for that game. And that's like a ton of money. Uh, imagine all the beer I can get for that. Holy shit. Still didn't do it. And then there's this cool guy named Joe Ness. He offered me five grand. Five fucking grand for that game. Think about that for a second. Five grand. Holy shit. I could be swimming on supermodels. You know, while doing coats off their stomach and everything. Five fucking grand. All because of this game. Holy shit. And... Guess what fucking what? Is it that good? No. You need a fucking power pad or fun fitness fun fuck pad. And you can play this game by just and everything. If you're a lazy fucking bum like me, you don't want to fucking do anything. No, work is the last thing you want to do. But, uh, you have to really match the buttons like crazy just to play a fucking game. Fuck that shit. No, no, that's not what I want to do. And uh, yeah, the people who play. People will pay crazy money for that fucking shit, and holy crap, is it not fucking worth it? Think of it, uh, you can get world track meet, world class track meet, or world ass track feed, or whatever it is, and that game is a fucking dollar. It's the same fucking game, but the only difference is that that one says Bandai on it. And, yeah, you know, same fucking game. Uh, nobody gave a shit about that one, but. Now that this one is like five grand, everybody gives a shit about it. <laughs> it's not that good, no. Huh. Huh. So much coke I could have got. Oh, well, anyway. <laughs> uh, that's life. That's why I'm a fucking bum. Uh, eh, whatever. Uh, if you agree, disagree, let me know, uh, comment below, and all that shit, and I'll see if I can comment, and, you know, oh yeah, it's fucking Christmas time, so happy Hanukkah, and merry Kwanzaa, and all that, and, uh, Festivus, uh, yeah, well, that's Russell and shit. Okay, this is Star Soldier 1, uh, happy hour console gamer, over now, or, what the fuck my name is, uh, you know the deal.